What's up everybody? It's Andrew with Uni Programmer and welcome to the 18th job tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to be using the classes that we've created which is the bank program and the account class and up till now we've been making accounts and objects with data that we already have hard-coded hard into the main program, um, the main method, but instead we are going to get input from the user like their name and the amount that they're gonna put into their bank account and then create an object from that so let's get to it so we're gonna need to import a couple things we're gonna need to import the random class because we're gonna be creating an account and the random class will be used for the account number and then we're gonna need to import the scanner so in order to do that, and I have done videos on both these, but another thing, instead of importing both of them separately, I'm just going to import the utility package because they're both in the utilities and this is a, a shortcut way to import everything within the utility package. So you just would do java.util and that will import everything. So now, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a name, which is going to be a string. So string name. We're going to need an account number, which we're going to generate. And we'll just call it account num. And then whatever amount they're going to deposit, which will be a double. And um, one thing we need since for the random something I like to set is going to be a max number for the random and the accounts that we've been creating the account number are nine digits long so one two three four five six seven eight nine that way the random number will generate zero through this number so but not including this number so let's get our scanner going Scanner keyboard equals new scanner. And we also need to create a random object. And that's going to be random. And then you name your random object. I'm going to call it rand equals new random. Okay. So this is where we're going to have the random class generate the random number so we're gonna call our account num variable and set it to ran dot next int and then that this is where we put the max because this is it'll, it'll set account num to the next integer between 0 and max and 0 so it'll be somewhere around there okay now that we have those, we just need to get our input from the user. So in order to do that, we're just going to output to the screen, enter full name. And to get input from them, you're going to call your variable, and this one is the string variable, which is name. And we're going to set it equal to keyboard dot next line. And you can either use next or next line. Next, we need to get the amount that they're going to deposit. So again, we're going to do system dot out dot print line. Do a space there. And we'll have them enter that. Same thing as before, we're going to get amount and set it to keyboard.next double on this one. Alright, and we're not going to get information for the account number because the account, the account number is going to be generated and then used. So to create an object, just like we did before, 
we're going to call the class, our account class, and then our constructor in the account. If you've been following with the last few videos, the constructor is what's going to create that object. And then we just need to send it in a name, an ID, and a balance. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we will call our account class. We will name it, name our object, and we will set it to new account. And then it's gonna take the three data types that we need. We need the name, which is a string, integer for the account number, and then a double for the balance. So we're gonna pass in the input that we got from the user. So the first thing we're gonna put in is gonna be name. The second thing is gonna be account num, which is gonna be the, the random number generated. And then our third thing is gonna be what they inputted for the amount. And then lastly, we just want to display to the screen their object, their account that they made and the data. So we're gonna call the toString method. Once again, we'll display to the screen to show you that it worked and everything went well. We're gonna call our object and then use our dot operator to use the toString method. And then that is it for this. Now if we go to our account and look at the toString method, you have a result, which is what the toString method is gonna return. And then it's gonna have the name, it's gonna have the account number, and then it's gonna have the balance. And it's gonna be formatted in the currency instance. So let's go ahead and make an account. I'm gonna run it. All right, enter full name. So we will have Jim Carrey, he's a cool guy. Enter amount to deposit. He's got some money, right? All right. 600 thou. Run it. All right. So it looks like our object, our account was created the right way. So Jim Carrey was the name that we put in. The account number is right here and it was generated using the random class. And then the balance that he started the bank with is 600 big ones. So that's pretty much it for that. We took um, user input and created that account. And from what we've done so far, it's just been hard coded, but now we actually created from the user a bank account. And if you want to use this code I will have both classes in the description. So I hope that helped with uh, getting user input and also creating an object with that data. So I will have both in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.